Hello, hello, hello. Day three, go. No, not day three. Haha, <laughs> day seven. Going on day eight now. How are you guys doing? Look at this little puppy standing behind me. He's gonna bark at some point. Today's topic is about having a coach. Kind of, not really. Because what I was thinking about is that the one number thing, one number one thing that helps people to stay accountable is someone to hold them accountable, where it's not you versus your mind, right? Therapists have a therapist. NBA players have a coach, no matter what. People who are in the orchestra, music professionals, they all have someone, they go to master classes once in a while to be held accountable, okay? There's a lot of different things. Hey, someone's channel, someone else said hi. Muad, hey, um, hey Muad. So a lot of people, you know, therapists have therapists, everybody has. <laughs> Muad's making me laugh, he says only me here. But it's great, you always have to have someone to hold you accountable. Same thing I said yesterday about the language lessons. So hey cat. Can't wait to start with you tomorrow. For those of you guys who didn't join yet, June 11th challenge starts tomorrow. Last call, it's almost full. So if you're gonna join, the link is down in the description box below. Last call. If you're gonna do it, take the leap of faith, do it. It's one week, no excuses. I'm gonna get you through it, okay? So if you're gonna do it, sign up right now because it's almost full and you have no more chances left. But in the meantime, I'm gonna talk about this accountability thing. So same with learning a language, right? When you learn a language, if you wanna stay accountable, you have to make an accountability plan. And sometimes it's hard to do that plan right with yourself. Sometimes you actually need to focus on actually having someone to hold you accountable, right? Um, Mimi Extra says, what does it involve if we join? So it's one call per day, and I do like about an hour call per day. It's like between 30 to an hour, it depends. Sometimes we do optional workouts, but if you guys don't wanna work out, it's optional, so you don't have to, and we do like little booty workouts and stuff, but otherwise the main important thing is to do actual accountability calls and pep talks and checking in and me walking through you and guys and coaching the group through the symptoms if you feel something you let me know we do a daily group chat so we're chatting 24 7 and you have access to me 24 7 for the whole week so very very good for holding you accountable if you message me saying you're having massive cravings in the middle of the night say sos sos help me help me help me i will answer right away so remember that if you guys want to join, it's one Zoom call per day, an hour a day, and I only charge 35 USD for it, and most coaches will charge way more than that, but I told you guys I just want to do it for accountability. So it's either at 3 p.m. EST or 8.30 p.m. EST, but it's actually almost full. So if you guys want to sign up, sign up right away because I try to keep the group smaller because too big is too much. Too big is too much. <laughs> so anyway, oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, Siobhan, if you're debating on it, just do it. Oh, he's joking. What do you do? Oh my, God. he's joking on the grass. <laughs> Guys, yeah, it's no, it's 35 for the whole week, right? Most people will charge like 35 for the day or something, or even $50 for a private one-on-one -on -one call, but it's not. It's just for the entire week. So if you wanna do it, if you're debating it, just do it. What are you gonna lose? Just save the money from takeout this week and just come for the challenge. And you're not gonna eat all that takeout. You don't need to buy, you know, yesterday I was saying you don't need to buy a lamp from Amazon. So just sign up and it's gonna be really, really help, helpful. Priyanka says she's starting today. You don't need luck, Priyanka. You just need a good dose of self-discipline. So you got it. Um, Tara, we have a lot of people in the UK and they come to our 3 p.m. group. So I think it's okay. We have a lot of people from the UK so if you want to join I don't know the conversion off the top of my head but you can just put it in and I sent you guys the link the link is right there as well so you guys can check it out so anyway let's talk more about accountability you need something to hold you accountable and Kat she's on this call right now so it's very very good for Kat because she actually went down she was listening to the videos she took notes so she took a lot of notes and she wrote them down, sent it to our group chat. And it's a really, really, really good way to actually like digest the information and be motivated and motivate yourself. And I always say this, if you want to succeed, spend time on it, spend energy on it, make it a priority. If you don't spend time or energy and prioritize it, it's going to be hard. So what I said to the people in the call group, and I said, I forgot to answer your question. The calls are on Zoom. So you can join, I paid for it, so you guys can just get the free one, you don't have to get the paid one. So it's good. All you have to do is hold yourself accountable. And in order to kind of make it so you succeed, try to invest time in it. And what I told everybody in the group, what I was just saying is that I told them all to write their goals down and make it look pretty. You know, use some colors, use some highlighters, make yourself a vision board if you want. Write some keywords on there that inspire you, you know, like alignment, motivation, inspiration, I'm inspired. And just find some nice words, mental clarity, those types of things, remember. 
You have a lot of things that you can do and just make it look pretty. It will make you feel good and it's like a little art project that you focus on for yourself. And when you put energy and thought into it, it's gonna sink into your head a lot more. That's why a lot of these videos are repetitive, guys, because repetition is the key. If you hear the same things over and over and over, it's repetitive and it's gonna help you focus because it's gonna keep kind of rewiring in your brain until you actually reprogram it entirely. So repetition is key. And it's really, really important. So another thing that you have to do during the fast, the first three days, guys, it's not easy. The first three days is rough. So what you have to focus on is just telling yourself these positive affirmations. Enjoy the fast, love the fast, and tell yourself, I love the fast. The fast is beautiful. The detox symptoms are gonna be rough. So say, I love the detox symptoms. The detox symptoms make me feel great. Okay. The detox symptoms make me feel great. You know, maybe you don't feel good in the moment, but the actual fact that your body's detoxing means that you're improving your body overall, your health, your gut health. I always talk about gut health. That's a good why to have on your list of whys about why you wanna do this water fast. Gut health. You know, when you have poor gut bacteria in your microbiome, it's a really big problem. It's gonna cause ADHD, anxiety, depression, a lot of other things, stress, everything. Okay, another thing I recommend, and I kind of mentioned this yesterday, unplug from the news. It's crazy, you can hear from it a little bit, but don't consume yourself in it too much because there's nothing we can do to change it unless you guys are out there. There's nothing you can do to change it. Just sitting at home reading it, it's just gonna ruin your mental health. And if your mental health is ruined, then you're not gonna be a positive person. If you're not a positive person, then the encounters that you have throughout the day might not be as positive as they should be. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Okay, so he threw it and then he's gonna bark at me. Okay, so hold yourself accountable. Do something to hold yourself accountable. If you're not part of the challenge, honestly, and you're still out there like getting takeout food every day and stuff, then what's the point? You know, you have to really, I can't tell you what to do, but you have to figure out what your priorities are. What's more important to you? Going out for fast food and spending 20 bucks on that or coming to like a week long accountability session where I coach you every single day and help you with your goals and then get you motivated to kickstart your journey and then get on track and actually, you know, get to where you want to be this summer. You know, do you guys want to wear a bikini this summer? Because I want to, and I wasn't happy with my pandemic pounds, so I'm doing something about it. So if you guys want, again, last call, and I'm going to stop talking about that now. So last call. Oh, it's Bentley. Hey, Bentley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's last call for you guys if you want to do that. Lawn nicely mowed right now, so I'm quite happy. Um, Priyanka says, I've watched 100 of your videos on YouTube, but you're the one who, oh, 100 videos on YouTube, but you're the one that motivated me. I feel I can do this. Lots of love from India. You got this, Priyanka. You can do this. Everybody can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. It's just mindset. That's all that matters. Your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. That's it. Okay. What I said yesterday, and I love it because Kat wrote it down, and then I was reading it over, and I was like, wow, that was a good analogy, right? Because I just think of it off the top of my head on these lives. So imagine you're in a new relationship. Okay, imagine you're in a new relationship and you know what happens, you know, especially for us ladies, when we're in a new relationship, you drop everything in your life and sit by the phone. <laughs> you drop everything in your life and it consumes you. You'll like doodle little hearts with his name or whatever, his or her name, whatever. And it just consumes us, right? So it's the same thing you need to do with fasting. If you're serious about fasting, you wanna fall in love with fasting, then you better make it a priority. Doodle some fasting keywords all over your paper. Put little hearts next to it. It sounds stupid, but you gotta fall in love with fasting and be positive about the journey. You get headaches, right? From the sodium depletion and also from the carb withdrawal and the sugar withdrawal those first couple days. So you just tell yourself, I love these headaches. These headaches are allowing me to break free from my sugar addiction. So embrace the headaches. Embrace the heartburn. Embrace the acid reflux. Okay, embrace the muscle cramps. It might feel like leg day at some point in your fast and then you'll take magnesium and potassium to help you out with it. All the links are below for like the supplements and stuff as well. Challenge links are below, everything's down below. I try to make it easy for you guys. So if you do that, then you embrace the muscle cramps. You embrace the headaches. And remember, if you embrace it, you're gonna learn to accept it. So once you accept it, you can just say, okay, I expect the worst and I'm embracing these things that are happening to my body because these things are like the no pain, no gain. And it's not really a pain, it's just kind of annoying. And sometimes you're like dizzy and have low energy, but you know what? If you embrace those symptoms from the detoxing, then you're gonna get to where you want because you're learning to love the symptoms because the symptoms mean that your body is making progress. 
So you're gonna turn into that fat burning machine. I told you when you get into ketosis, you might have a little bit of a keto flu at the beginning, but you're turning into a fat burning machine. Okay, fat burning machine. <laughs> Makes me think of that thing ex machina, but I never saw it. Fat burning machina, okay. Mimi Extra says, what's a realistic weight loss target per week? I don't get my expectations right. Here's what I want you to focus on, Mimi. Don't focus on the weight loss. Don't focus on the weight loss. It will happen. You don't even have to weigh yourself throughout the week because if you're not eating, you know it's going to happen. So don't focus on the weight loss. Don't have any expectations going into this. The only expectation I want you to have going into this is to expect that it's going to be hard and expect that it's going to be the worst and you're going into the eye of the storm. And when you do that, then it's going to become easier because you know it's going to be hard. You expect the worst and hope for the best. But don't focus on weight loss. Focus on all the other benefits, like breaking free from your sugar addiction, breaking free from your food addiction. Your skin's gonna get much better. Your, what else? I don't know, a lot of benefits. There's too many to name at this point, right? So don't focus on weight loss. Just focus on what you need to focus on, which is the mental clarity and your skin and your gut health and your mental health and all of that, okay? Uh, Siobhan says, it's on my laptop screen now. I'm just nervous about the call. There's nothing to be nervous about, Siobhan. Just do it. Just do it. Trust me, you'll see me face to face every day. I'll bug you. If you want you to just shut out your camera off. You don't have to put your camera on if you're shy. It doesn't matter. You've been here on this channel for so many months, so it's time for us to have a little one-on-one -on -one chat every day, right? <laughs> Sebahad says, Merhaba, Gzellik. Merhaba, <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm just gonna show you my dog because he looks really cute right now. Last night, I've been up. I can't do this. I should tell you guys not to do this, but I've been doing this every single day. I'm staying up way too late, like way too early almost, because I, I, I went to bed at eight o'clock in the morning, two days in a row, and then five o'clock in the morning yesterday, because I've had these major organization projects and my house is getting so much cleaner. And I think it's because, I think it's because I'm fasting, right? Day seven, I get productive. And all of a sudden I want to declutter my body from all the junk. I want to declutter, declutter my main, my, my main, my mind from everything. And I want to declutter my house, right? It's like a full body. <laughs> it's a well-rounded experience. Declutter your body, declutter your mind and declutter your house. Very important. Keeps me busy during fasting. I got some super cool Ikea shelves. I can show you guys if you want. Do you guys want to see it? Let me know if you want to see it. I'll bring you inside so you can see it. He's just putting the ball right there. Do you want your ball? Do you want your ball? Oh, you okay. Anyway, I'm feeling great. The only thing today, so I'm on day seven today, going on day eight. The only thing is that I'm starting to get that lightheadedness. So I've been taking my salt and yeah, from Ikea. <laughs> and my boyfriend knows, right? When I start getting lightheaded, like sometimes I get so weak, like last night. Also, because it was five o'clock in the morning and I didn't sleep the night before either, but I got so tired. I was so lightheaded. I was trying to get in the shower and I couldn't even like lift my hands. Just I'm just tired. And I just like, you know, I was just like shower really quickly, get out of there and passed out really nicely. I sleep really well though. I know some people have trouble sleeping when they're fasting, but I slept really, really well. Sorry, he's really cute. I'm just gonna give him a little pet if that's okay. Yo, where you going? I'm trying to pet you. I'm trying to pet you. Come here. Okay, give me the ball. Good job. Oh, I can't see because I'm... Sit. Speak. What? Are you choking on the grass? Speak. Down. Roll over. Oh, did you forget roll over? We have... Bang. Oh, oh, there you did it. All of them. There, sit. Again. Sit. Sit. Bang. 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 No, you're biting me. Bang. Bang. Bang! Why are you not doing it? Oh, oh, you're such a cheater. He did half and then he knows I'm gonna throw it. Sit. Bang! No, bang! No, I'm not doing it. Bang! 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 Woo! Okay, yours is naughty. Down. Bang! No, oh my god, he stole it. You're bad. Okay. He's naughty. Okay. I'm done. He was just so cute. Look at my hair. At least I'm not wearing the visor today. I'm hyper, but I'm lightheaded. But right now I'm okay. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty hyper. I'm gonna show you guys my Ikea furniture. <laughs> Do you wanna see it? Okay, I'm gonna hide this. So not my whole house is organized. So give me a second. I will put my, oh my God, the door's locked. Okay, give me a second. I'm going through into the house from the other door. And I'm putting my face I'm hiding everything. 
One second. I am entering my house. <laughs> my my boyfriend is outside doing some yard work, which is nice. Good job, honey. <laughs> okay, one second. I just very excited. I make a whole video about my IKEA furniture because I'm pretty pumped about it. I just don't want you to see my whole house. Okay, so this room was a total disaster before. So I got my light that I use for filming sometimes and those two things are the Alex thing from Ikea and then I put like a table on it that my boyfriend's funny and he's always like, let's just buy a big piece of wood and he just buys a bunch of pieces of wood. So he put them on the shelves and made a table out of it. Then I have this random green couch, but it looks good with that. <laughs> this video turned into like a tour of my new office, but so I had this label maker and I decided to organize everything. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. <sighs> I'm out of breath now. <laughs> so I decided to organize everything. So I have like a craft room now. Staples, safety pins, paper clips, hole punch. I know we're supposed to talk about fasting, but you guys can keep asking me fasting questions while I give you a tour because I just feel like it. But the thing is, this is kind of related to fasting because I'm fasting, so I wanna declutter my home. So if you declutter your home, you declutter your mind and you declutter everything and then you feel better. So I don't know, it's pretty cute. Uh, those are stickers. This is my goal book and eventually I'll show you guys what that, actually I'll just show you guys. Let's just see. Let's see. I wanna see if there's a blank page. Oh, this is a really good thing to read. If you guys want, I'll send it to you. Just email me. It's about intentional growth. I have a lot of different stuff like these goal sheets. I used to do that for my habit trackers. And then this is my goal action form, which I could send you guys this to. I'm going to make some worksheets. So you put your goal in. So that could be 21 day fast, you know, and then the purpose of your goal could be to make me feel better. And then some action steps, right? So like, you know, join the accountability calls. Number two find a support group. Number three, start a daily journal. Number four, make a plan for June, print the calendars. So you just write all the action steps and complete it by and it helps you become successful. And you could do this with everything, whether it's like, I want to find a new job. So you write down, okay, look for 10 jobs a day, send out applications, negotiate your salary. So a lot of ways you can use these goal forms. That's my goal book. That goes in here. My other things, I just took them out because I was using them. Then I have some notebooks. Then I have some sticky tack here, dry erase. This is random paper, markers and Sharpies. Feeling pretty good about this. This is a fasting project. You see when I tell you guys to stay busy while fasting? Fasting projects. This is miscellaneous. This has some knitting thing, but I haven't been knitting. And then those ones are empty for now. Then I have those ones, which are like my technology stuff. I have the mic and stuff that I use for the, the calls. Then some cables. That's my boyfriend's computer. I don't actually use that one. But yeah. Ta-da! So this is my new little office, and I feel happy about it. Haha, <laughs> margarita. Okay, I'm tired. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> That's what happens when you're fasting. You could get a little bit more tired. But you know what? Day seven, I'm going to go drink some salt after this. But that's it. Just keep pushing, okay? Hold yourself accountable. Stop procrastinating. Honestly, if you haven't joined the challenge, what's it going to do if you join for one week and try it out and take the leap of faith, right? It's not a big deal. Try it out. Everybody who's been in our challenges has succeeded at their goal so far. And think about it this way. If you commit from now until July, imagine you commit for the next three weeks, right? Imagine just one week at a time and you commit for three weeks. What would you feel like if you lost 20 to 30 pounds by now, right? How would you feel if you lost 20 to 30 pounds by July 1st? How would that feel? Because I'm trying to get to where I want to be because you guys know my birthday is on July 19th. And also our fast forward to health anniversary, our one year anniversary is on July 8th. I'm very excited. July 8th is gonna be our one year anniversary, okay? So you'll get that freedom, exactly, Margarita. You get freedom. I'm just here to kick your butt. I'm just here to kick your butt and tell you to stop making excuses because you're so gentle on yourself. You're like, well, I did well, so I'm gonna you know, eat today, I'll do OMAD, and then tomorrow I'll fast, and then 
tomorrow at 5 p.m. you're like, mm, actually, I'm gonna do OMAD. You know, I did a good job with OMAD and I'll fast tomorrow. And then tomorrow again, tomorrow never comes. And then the next day you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I'll just do OMAD, whatever. And then you're never gonna fast and you're never gonna get to where you want. So very easy, you join the accountability group and I'm there to kick your butt every day and tell you to stop making excuses. I make everybody scream at the camera and stuff too. So you'll see, I, I do some crazy stuff to get you guys pumped. My job is just to get you guys super just happy. Have you never caved in lockdown? Oh yeah, Mimi, if you watched any of my other videos, I caved so hard. I've been locked down since January because it was a voluntary thing because we got scared. So my slow white, snow white. I know my skin's getting nicer. I just need to brush my hair. I'm too lazy. Like, ugh, I have to do my hair. Blah, 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 blah. You know? On July 19th, I'm going on holiday to France. My kids and ex-husband. So that's D-Day as well. <laughs> Some white. So snow white. <laughs> Margarita, you keep, you keep writing it funny. Um, Mimi said, did I ever cave during lockdown? Absolutely. I've been locked down since January. So I've actually like voluntarily locked down for six months because I'm crazy and conspiracies and nada, nada, nada. But anyway, so it's been really, really crazy. Siobhan, last meal is tomorrow. So come to kickoff call tomorrow. That's last meal and I'll explain it tomorrow, okay? Um, 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 let's see. Yeah, I caved so hard. Six months, okay, February and March, my mental health went down the gutter and you guys probably noticed. A lot of people commented and messaged me asking me if I'm okay because like I went from like super happy and peppy in January and then in February and March, I just went downhill and I was just like so depressed. And I think if you rewatch the videos, you can see I have like panic in my eyes and I was not calm at all. I was like super anxious, super depressed, so depressed. And then I got even more stressed because I felt like I was letting you guys down if I didn't make the videos because I want to motivate you guys. But I wasn't able to motivate myself. So it's hard to motivate you guys when I didn't motivate myself. And then I went down into like a super, you guys know, like at some point it got so bad that I ordered like, because we, I don't go out for groceries either. We just order them and we just, it takes a couple weeks, but like, it's not crucial anyway. We just order and oh my God, at some point, like my boyfriend knows that I don't eat treats, right? He doesn't eat treats either. I'm lucky about that because then it's easier to keep it out of the house and he supports me with that. And sometimes he's sad that he's like, oh, I wish I could eat what I want and I don't want to have it in the house because it'll trigger you. But you know, we're really good at that. And you know what, guys, I'm going to have a damn good birthday meal on the 19th, I'm gonna have one on July 19th. I will, I will earn it and I will do it and I'm so excited for it. But yeah, at some point I put like, he didn't even question it, but he knew it was kind of going downhill, but he knew I was so depressed that he was like, okay, I'll just let her heal a little bit because I was so bad. And he was trying to support me, but it was really, really hard. And at some point I added like, literally like I think six boxes of cookies or maybe probably more probably like 10 boxes of cookies to my order and you guys know I don't eat sugar I didn't eat sugar for a long time so it was like my mind was just so sad the day that I ordered so I ordered something ridiculous like 10 boxes of cookies to store them for pandemic in case that we're in lockdown for like a year right that was my my rational that was me justifying ordering that many because that's ridiculous okay what happened? I got depressed every day. I watched the news like eight hours a day, reading tons of conspiracy theories, and it messed me up entirely, entirely. What? It was so bad. I was like not, it was not healthy at all. And it was just really sad. And I tried to make more videos. I tried to smile on camera and keep you guys motivated, but it was like deep and dark and bad. And then what happened, obviously, you're sitting there and you're sad and you're depressed and you're anxious and then you're stressed because, you know, I have you guys following here and I was just so stressed to tell you guys I was failing and I was failing so hard for like almost like a month and a half straight. If you guys remember, I kept trying to do like the February challenge and then I fell off track. Then I tried the March challenge, kind of fell off track and I just kept not finishing and following through and I was kind of like sporadic about the live videos. It was just like really a rough time mentally. Like, luckily, we're fortunate that everybody so far, knock on wood, has been safe. So I'm very fortunate about that. But like mentally was a really, really hard time. So I was literally, it lasted me, me like, I would say Valentine's Day. That was last year. That wasn't this year. Oh, no, nothing. Valentine's Day. I don't remember. Was it this year? 
I think it was this year. No, it was this year. We ordered some takeout, right? It was like our Valentine's Day thing and we ate at home. And No, I can't remember, honestly, if we skipped Val. This year and last year just mangled together. Like, I don't even know who we are anymore. But it was bad. And then I took that, that's, okay, it was like, it was like at least two months. It was at least two months. And I ate poorly, like every single day. And then that cookie stash that I had, it's gone. Because then... At some point, I was like, okay, I'm going to eat some because I don't feel well, comfort food, all these excuses, just not feeling well. And I didn't even care at that point. I was like, I just want the instant happiness because I was so upset with everything in the world. And, you know, people who have a lot of empathy, like it affects us a lot as well. And I'm sure all of us are like that. So it was really, really hard to see the world going through that. And obviously excuses when it comes to our weight, and there will always be excuses. And I, I apologize to myself for making those excuses. But I'm at a good place now, and I'll tell you what I did to pull myself out of it. But I was literally eating, like, literally a box of cookies a day for a little while. I was eating, yeah, Melissa said I was eating three meals a day plus snacks. I was eating a box of cookies a day, and I had not eaten carbs or cookies or any junk for, like, a year. So my system just got so bloated. And then I felt really self-conscious coming on camera. I was like, you guys are going to see it in my cheeks. Now they're kind of deflated, but it was, like, a little bit bigger and then I was hosting the boot camps, right? And I was so nervous that you guys would like not trust me anymore and not want to follow me anymore because you'll be like, oh, she gained weight. And I was just like, it was such a hard time for me, like mentally with the pandemic and then just feeling insecure of coming on camera. And I guess I never told you guys any of this because I wanted to be strong. But at the same time, like we're not all strong, we're human, right? And that's what I always want to say is that I have to be truthful. And I kept telling you guys I'm not feeling well. And I told you guys I'm kind of crumbling. And you guys noticed it anyway. So I appreciate that a lot. But it was rough. So it took me two months, right? And then what happened, a group of us in March, we started doing some boot camps on Google Hangouts because it was the only way to have like a FaceTime and actually motivate myself to get out of bed because I like didn't even want to get out of bed. There was nothing to wake up for. Like life was pointless at that point. And I was zero motivated, didn't want to fast, didn't want to make videos. My boyfriend kept telling me, make some YouTube videos, like nice ones with the lighting like I used to. And I was like, no, I can't. Like I'm, I was like, there's no way like in hell that's going to happen right now. I'm just not at a good place in my life. And he supported me with that. And he was like, okay, just take some time and recover. And he told me like, honey, stop checking the news. So that was number one. I stopped checking the news and he tells me everything that's important. And it's not to be ignorant or, or anything, but it's just like something that I had to do for myself because it affects me a lot. And it's just like spending hours and hours on the news and freaking out and crying every day. It's like not good, right? Especially being a cancer and being emotional. It was really, really rough. So this is what I did. Step one, I quit the news. Step two, I started doing the workouts. And the only way to actually hold myself accountable to the workouts was to be part of an accountability group. So I created the accountability group that we were doing with a couple of you guys. Like I think Kyle's watching here. So Kyle, Rebecca, Luann, Angie, they've been working with me like we've been all together for like a while now and they were kind of feeling the same type of things so we all started doing like a google hangout workout it started on google hangouts and then zoom blew up and became super popular so we switched over to zoom so we were doing like workouts every single day like little 15 20 30 minute workouts every single day and was the workouts i used to do with insanity and stuff so that kind of helped me with the endorphins and that helped me like at least I had nothing going for me in life and I was just like really upset and there was nowhere to go and stuff. But the one thing that I looked forward to every day was that if my day was completely empty and I had nowhere to go, nothing to do, nothing at all, like no social life, everything. But the one thing I look forward to is that every day at 7 p.m. or it was 6 p.m. or something, we had that workout together. So we got to see each other's faces. So I would say like, honestly, you guys got me through the pandemic more than anything. I know this is still pandemic, but just feels like we're adjusting now and we're kind of coping with it and just adjusting to this new life. So that was the thing, right? So step one was stopping the news. Step two was joining an accountability group slash working out because the workouts were helping with the endorphins. And that's before fasting because the fasting, I was just like so unable to do it. Like, you know, the thing is you just try a million times, okay? One time it's gonna stick. It doesn't matter if you try to fast like 200 times, one time it's going to stick. One time, that's all it takes. Try 100 times, try 200 times. One time it's going to stick, so never give up. Never give up, ever, 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 no matter how many times you fail. If I had given up, I would have shut down this whole YouTube channel and been like, whatever, I can't do this, I'm done. 
but I can't because you guys hold me accountable. And I know you guys support me just as much as I support you guys. So it's really important. And I really appreciate you guys for watching the videos and joining and hitting that like button. It means a lot to me. When you guys hit that like button, I think that YouTube, like I'm not a YouTube pro yet. I don't know, I just make random videos. But when you guys hit the like button on this video, then it helps the videos kind of, I think it helps the YouTube algorithm pick it up. And when the YouTube algorithm picks it up, then it shows it to more people. And then that helps me as well. Cause then more people, you know, I get to spread awareness and then there's a bigger community for us in general. So going back, step one was to stop checking the news. Step two was to do some workouts to get my endorphins up, to be happy, right? To help my mood. So that helped significantly with my mood. So those of you guys who were there in the boot camps, I appreciate you and I love you. And it was so important to me as well. Then number three, I started planning again, right? I took my planners out and I said, listen, we're gonna start planning for success. I'm gonna start writing down my positive affirmations. I'm gonna start visualizing my goal and I'm not gonna think it's impossible because at that point, I was like, whatever, I'm hopeless and I'm just gonna be overweight forever and I'm never gonna be able to get to 135 because it's just keep failing and failing and failing and it just takes a toll on you eventually. But you just don't give up, right? If there's anything about me is that I wanna be known as like the person who never gives up, even if I fail, doesn't matter how many times I fail. I just want to be that person who, you know, puts up a fight and never fails. I mean, never, I will fail, but, but never, I have failed. Sorry, I will not fail anymore for a while. But even if I'm that person, you know, just keep going and always just grit your teeth and do what you need to do no matter what. Try to get that self-discipline. And when you have those moments that are really low and depressed in life, just get back on track as soon as you possibly can. So that was what I did. I did, so that's, I'm going to repeat again. No news workouts for the endorphins and joining the accountability group and number three was to journal everything get out my planners do some positive affirmations those are the three first steps that i did to get out of my funk because it was bad and i had gained quite a bit of weight and it's not good right luckily it's in my bottom half but my cheeks kind of show it too so anyway you'll see when i when i finish this fast my cheeks will be a little skinnier now i'm telling you guys so now you're gonna notice more which is gonna make me more self-conscious and insecure but it's okay, <laughs> we got this. All about honesty, honesty and integrity is the best policy for me because I want you guys to know the realistic side of life and this weight loss journey. Melissa said I wanna start adding workouts in maybe after this month when I finish my two classes. Yeah, do it, absolutely. 40 says, well, Kat says, Kat, you have too many names. <laughs> People in my environment tend to roll their eyes each time I say I embark on a water fast, no, a diet or fast, etc. My answer is always, at least I keep trying. If I ever stop trying, then it's a problem. Exactly. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Here's the thing, right? There's people in your life who are going to be like, oh my God, you're such a yo-yo dieter. But you know what? I'd rather lose weight a bunch of times than just not do anything and be complacent. Like I would literally rather yo-yo my whole life and have some moments where I do well. I would rather that than just don't do anything at all and just gain weight permanently for the rest of my life and never do anything about it, you know? At least I'll have some time to do some motivational stuff and get myself in gear for little periods and then maybe fall out of it, get back into it. And you know what, that's about life. So all these people who are talking about yo-yo and stuff, like, yeah, we don't wanna be like serial yo-yoers either because that sucks and you don't wanna gain the weight. But you can yo-yo like mini, right? You just yo-yo and then you yo-yo a little bit lower. So you start here, right? Like your highest weight ever. Yo-yo a little bit, oop, come up here. Yo-yo a little bit, oop, come up here. Yo-yo a little bit, boop, come up here. So it's a yo-yo in a downward trend, right? So that's a good thing. And that's the most thing that's important. I'm gonna read your comments, I didn't see them. Mary's on day three. Princess is here, hey princess. So Chantrice is on day two. New here, welcome to the family. We're a very close-knit little family over here. Mary, Bruce is here. Hey Bruce. Siobhan, the same, it makes me feel bad, but the fact I tried just means something. Exactly, that's it. Question, you choose to do short fast due to research on immune function during standard fast. What makes you change your mind? Uh, no, I'm not doing short fast. I like extended fast. Let me read that again. You chose to do short fast due to research on... No, okay. So, you know what the thing is? I don't go outside and everybody was kind of coming at me with the whole like immune system thing and the viral infection thing and not to fast during viral infection. And it really caused a lot of confusion back in my head. But then at the same time, all these doctors were saying not to do anything. But you know what I decided is that I was like, okay, no, because at some point I was trying to do fast, but then I was doing that. But I prefer, honestly, 
I personally prefer either OMAD or extended fasting, but it was just weird because all these new knowledge is coming about about viral infection. But here's my opinion on that, and I'm not a doctor, so don't listen to me. Okay, this is just for myself. I'm just a human. So I decided that I am not leaving the house, and I have no way of having any sort of connection with the outside world. And because if you don't currently have a viral infection, then you don't have to worry about the fasting. She, the doctors were talking about if you have a viral infection, not to do an extended fast, right? So a lot of like, what's you call contradicting information out there, but you know, whatever. I just prefer long fast and I'm not going outside anywhere right now. I just prefer it. It's just something that works for me. And that's another thing that threw me off the wagon because extended fasting is like my thing. It keeps me on track and I love it. And then all of a sudden, all these doctors are publishing these things saying like, oh, during COVID, don't do extended fasting. So then I kind of felt lost. You know, I was like, hey, that's what I like to do. I don't like the short fast. I just don't like the short fast. Because when you get to day three, when you get to like 48 hours or 72 hours, you're like, hey, like this is literally the hardest part. Why do I want to repeat the hardest part a thousand times? So that's the only reason like I had to make sure that I was not giving people wrong advice, right? Because something I do for myself is not the same that I want you guys to do. Because if I don't have the knowledge to tell you guys what to do and all these doctors are telling you guys not to do that, then I don't want to give you guys the wrong advice. I don't want you guys to get sick. So I have to go along with what the doctors are saying and they were saying not to. But at this point, like whatever, I'm staying inside and I'm doing my long fast and I'm going for 21 to 28 days. So that's what I want to do and that's how I'm doing it. And again, I have no access to the outside world because I'm not going. So just knock on wood. We pray for each other. We hope that everything's going to be okay. Margarita says, I'm anxious of what to do once I reach my goal. I know once you start eating water, weight comes back. I would like to maintain and torn between OMAD, ADF, ak mamma mia. <laughs> so here's the thing. You can maintain with OMAD and you don't have to like decide what everything is. <laughs> um, you don't have to decide right now. You don't have to make like a game plan. Like this is what I have to do forever. Like do OMAD and then whoops, if you eat a little bit too much, boom, next day just fast. Doesn't matter, right? And then, okay, you have a birthday or an event or something. You eat a little bit too much, boom, gonna do like a four day, five day, six day, seven day water fast, yeah? You know, once you actually get to your goal, it changes and you don't have to do that. But while you're getting to your goal, at this point, I just wish that I always knew about extended fasting and you just kind of grit your teeth and get through it. It's not easy. You're overanalyzing, exactly. And it gives you decision paralysis. So who cares? Just do it. Plan one week at a time. If you have a social calendar, you have a social event, just plan around it. Okay, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to backtrack to what I was saying. So in order to get out of my funk, what did I do? Number one, I stopped checking the news. Number two, I joined the accountability group, stopped making excuses. And that was the boot camps that I was organizing. Number three, I forgot number three, positive affirmations and journaling. That's going to help you. Number four, I was like, okay, let's do this together. I'm not the only one who's having trouble. So I'm going to make myself even more accountable and we're going to join the accountability groups. So that's why we're doing accountability groups once a week. And we've been doing that for two months. And guys, the amount of people who have had amazing results, some people have already lost like 30 and I think even 40 pounds in the past like two months. Imagine, okay, I told you guys, the link for the challenge tomorrow is literally gonna be finished soon because it's almost last call. So if you're gonna join tomorrow, you better join tomorrow. But it's almost finished, it's almost sold out. It's almost like, it's almost there. So imagine from now, right, right now until July 1st, if I tell you, if you stick with me for three rounds, depending on your weight, right? If you're heavier, it's gonna melt off a lot faster. But what if I tell you, you can lose like 20, 30 pounds by July 1st, and then you still don't take that opportunity, you would still rather spend your money on like fast food and stuff, right? Obviously, some of that will be water weight, Margarita, but you know, water weight is not everything because your body, you're still not consuming anything, right? If you don't consume any calories, what does your body eat? Your body eats the fat that's already in your body. You know what I always say? That gourmet meal, your body wants to eat it. So that's what it's going to eat. So let it eat it. So yes, there's some water weight and Jason Fung, Dr. Fung says it's like 0.5 pounds a day. But you know what? If you refeed properly and you continue with keto and you continue with OMAD and then you jump back into a fast if you feel like you're out of control, then you can actually keep it off. You know, after a 21 day fast, unless you go crazy like I did, right? Because I, I did my 21 day fast in January and then it got pandemic and I was eating like a box of cookies a day. So if you don't do like prior to that, I was maintaining it really nicely for several weeks. You only gain like 
maybe six pounds if you're not lucky, maybe eight pounds you gain back, but you still lose like over 20 pounds, so it's still good. It's not, exactly. Even though it's just water weight, think about carrying a five fifty pounds of water. It's not all water weight either. And plus you're flushing out all the toxins and remember, right? Remember that it's the gut health. Remember it's your mental clarity. When you fast, you become so much more euphoric and you get into a good mood. Like I'm pretty lightheaded right now because of my day seven going on day eight, but I'm still super hyper and I still feel really, really good, right? And I organize my stuff because it's just that kind of fasting projects. And you're going to get so much, so many things done in your life in general. If you have to-do lists and stuff, your laundry, you'll fold them, all this stuff. So you're going to feel good at the end of the day. So yeah, it took me two months to pull myself out of the slump and try to fix my mental health. And if I spoke to any of you guys who are asking me about my weight for the past two months, I just told you guys, honestly, I'm not checking my weight and I'm just focusing on mental health. And it's really hard sometimes when literally I get like 20 messages a day of being like, hey, how much do you weigh? Hey, how much do you weigh? Hey, how much do you weigh? Hey, how much do you weigh now? Hey, how much do you weigh now? And I'm just like, you know what? Like, why don't you focus on your own journey? And when I'm ready, I will share my before and after pictures. You know, obviously we all went through a rough time. So that also made me very insecure. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna weigh myself because if I don't know, then I can't tell anybody. And that's what I did. <laughs> so I just didn't focus on it. And I just focused on mental health because mental health is the key. If your mind is happy, mental health, and then you're gonna be happier. If you feel happy, you wanna eat healthy. If you eat healthy, you look healthy. And it just kind of all snowballs in a positive way from there. Not snowballs, but builds up kind of to make you grow. So anyway, this is my other rant, but you know, just stop, just stop with the excuses. I know it was hard, but take those steps I just gave you. Stop checking the news, go outside for a walk, do some exercise, join our accountability group, and just like really focus on getting your mind out of the slump, okay? That's all I can say. That's what I did. Now we're back on track and we're fire. Guys, I'm fire. Like, I'm gonna hit my goal really, really soon. Yeah, Margarita, I decided not to weigh myself daily either. I just go by how clothes fit. So I have a pair of shorts I wanna fit into for summer and that's all now I'm focusing on. Because this whole journey, I know people are like focusing and obsessing about it for weight loss, but it's not all about weight loss. My God, okay. I promise I'm gonna look more presentable in these videos. It just, I'm just like too lazy to like do my hair and put makeup like you guys know i never even wear like mascara one day i'll look all cute when i when i look when i feel better you know i feel better now but when i feel like super better and i get to where i want to be and honestly i'm not that far away like i've lost most of the pandemic weight already which is kind of like thank god like hallelujah but when i get there then i'll you know just there's no reason to like, wear mascara and stuff right now i just don't feel like it I'm just like a girl next door type. Like I'm not like, I have some fake eyelashes, but I've worn them like once. These are my blonde eyelashes. They're non-existent. Anyway, whatever. I love myself. I worked hard for that to tell myself that I look good no matter what. And I struggle with insecurities a lot. So I always tell you guys to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're sexy. So let's do that. Let's tell ourselves we're sexy. We don't need makeup and stuff. Quarantine, we all look like a hot mess. We all have buns and whatever. Just... <laughs> Just take care of your hygiene, that's it. But we got this, okay guys? I'm really excited. I'm really excited for kickoff tomorrow for the next challenge. I know most of you guys, most people they roll into like a several different uh, challenges so they don't only do one round, they do more because you guys will notice how valuable the support. Oops. I have to check what time it is because I think I have boot camp soon. Anyway, so I'm gonna pop off now. I think I have a call with somebody right before boot camp. So I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. Take the steps you need to take to mental to mentally heal yourself. And then when you're ready, jump into a water fast. And if you need the support, I will kick your butt every single day for seven days. But we start tomorrow. The next one's on June 18th and the next one's on June 25th. Now I'm going to be taking one day off per week because I've been doing this for like two months straight with no time off. And I just need one day a week. So one day a week, it's on the calendar. We're going to do just a virtual check-in and we're going to chat and do our check-in at the same time, but on the chat. And after that, I'll see you guys later. I'll send you guys like voice notes and a video and stuff that day, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Last call again. If you didn't sign up for the challenge yet, sign up for the challenge. It's like almost finished, almost full. So if you can't make it, if it's full, then you can do the next one. So I'll see you guys later. Let me know and join the challenge. Link is down in the description box below. I will see you guys tomorrow at kickoff call. If not, I will be back to make another motivational live video tomorrow. And I'm also building my content calendar today and tomorrow for YouTube. So if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about, email me the topics, let me know, and I will make it and put it on my list. Okay, so happy fasting. 
Fix your mind, fix your health, fix your body, fix your home. We got this. We are on fire now. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Love you.